video, we are going to create a search box. So I actually went ahead and created a demo. So there's this, we still have this, um, this recycler view or whatever we can scroll through, but we also have a search box at the top where you can search for maybe press release or something like that. And that's will filter um, eventually these kind of posts. So basically making a search field. And so let's go ahead and save this and run it actually. And you'll see that I was just a demo. So we don't have it there right now. So let's go ahead and create it. And I do have some notes that I created it here. I'll put this in the uh, description on YouTube. So you'll have some code there and I might put it on GitHub as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. Let's go up to our top and let's go inside of um, first, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this greeting. Actually, let's do this. Let's change it to a box and uh, let's go ahead and import that, import box. Let's get rid of the name and then we have to put those parentheses somewhere and let's go ahead and do that, lazy column. And let's do that, and that should format our code. So we have a box there, we have a box, and if we run it, nothing should have changed. It's just a little uh, something we can do there. Okay, now let's go inside of our box, and let's close that really quickly. We have our box, we have our lazy column, and that goes to right there. Let's do here, let's put search. Let's do search box, and this will be our composable. So we don't actually have it right now, let's create it. And I don't think we're using the greeting anymore. Oh, we will for that. So I'll just keep it there for now. But let's do this, let's do it, let's put it actually, let's put it above there. Let's do composable and let's do function search box. And that takes nothing. And what we want to do, I could copy and paste it, but I'm gonna try to do it uh, on my own. So we need a text field is what we need. So in previously in RSS, you do edit text and you do wrap, you know, like that. But this is composed, so we are using a text field. And go ahead and auto-complete that. And now we have to do some, we need to implement some. We can actually do this. We can click on there and do option enter. And, oh no, it won't do that. So value equals, and I think it needs on value changed. I think it just needs those to, um, it needs those because you actually have to, you just have to implement those. So if we want it right now, if we go ahead and run it, and I'll run it, I don't know if I'll actually see it yet. Yeah, so we have our search box there, but it doesn't actually do anything. I'm actually typing on my keyboard and it's nothing is writing out there. And so as you can tell, value is basically just what it starts, at, starts as search. So if I run it like that, you can see that uh, it's a search there, but I still can't really type anything. So it's not actually changing. So in our text field, we have something to do. Let's go back. I'm just gonna copy this uh, instead of typing it out myself, but I could type it out myself. I'm just gonna put it there. Basically what this does is this, it creates a new variable. So of our a, you know, ASDF, it could be whatever you want it to be. And then we do by uh, remember or and this is just something that you have to put and uh, import that. And then mutable state, or with a lowercase mutable, uh, sorry, I can't type mutable, oh, I can't type mutable state of, and that can be our um, search. We can put that there if we wanted to. So we can close that out and actually get some errors there. And I think it actually has to do with import. So this is the part that I really wanted to copy and paste. I'm just gonna copy both of those and scroll to the top and you need to put those two lines in there. So it's import Android X and it might, you can probably just uh, import Android X, uh, Android X dot compose. You can type it out yourself, but I'm going to just paste it in there because it's easier. I generally don't like pasting code, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go back, search box and we'll do this. We'll call this text. This will be our, actually we'll do this query. That'll be our um, search query. And on changed, we'll start it with search query. We'll do that. So it starts out as that. And then on change, I think we want, um, 
unchanged text equals it. And I think we want that search, search query. There we go. Okay, so search query. And let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what this does for us. So there's a search query and you can actually see when you start typing, it actually does that. Um, we also, we can, you know, now we can search for, you know, press release. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things though. Let's go ahead and first, it's kind of covering it up there. Let's put some padding in the butt top. So let's do, put a comma there, modifier equals modifier dot padding and we'll do um, top equals 32.dp. We'll do 32. Dot, I think, or we'll do 30 actually. 30 dB should be enough. Control R to run that and let's go back to the emulator and it's still on top of there. We'll fix that in a different video. I actually want to start the default as blank so that should get that and let's do this. Let's do fill max width and we can actually, should not be like that, it should be like this, fill max width, and that, so let's go ahead and run it with control R, and there it is, there's our search box. We can actually do that probably 26, and I know it's covering up the top, but I kinda wanted it to float like that. So you can see as you can scroll through here, and we have the search bar at the top, we can search for press release, and um, that's basically, I think that's all I wanted to do. Oh, there is something I wanted, I was experimenting with. So you can actually put enters there. And so you can see as, you know, text is entering like that. We can do, I think it's in here, single line. And that's a Boolean It could be true or false. And in this case, we want it to be true. So go ahead and save that and run it. And now we can't do that. We can't put our enter anymore. So that gets rid of that error. And that's all for this video. Uh, this video is done. You can go to the next video. But I will just give a quick recap. So we, um, first we, what do we do? First we created a box. A box is like an empty container where you can put stuff inside of. Inside we have a lazy column. Then most uh, critically here we have our search box. And this can be anything, remember, just make sure it matches what you put below. Con command click on there, we can go to it. We always start our composable function with composable and then just the function name like we did there. And um, we created our variable for a search query. This is gonna be like, this is gonna like save our search query and we're using it both in the value and in the val and value changed. We made it a single line. This can be also false if you want. There's also a lot of other text stuff you can um, play around with enabled, you can enable or disable it, keyboard actions, max lines, there's all kinds of stuff you can scroll through and you just put some space and do alt enter to get to there. Um, and we set a modifier, we, we add a little bit of padding on the top and we can do max width and that's basically all it is. But um, also, yeah, so we did paste in those two lines. Um, yeah, we just I didn't import it for whatever reason. So just get value and set value on there. And uh, that is it. That is how we put a search bar in the top. And in the next we might actually video, we might actually make it do something. But for now, we'll just leave it there like that.